mathematician, astronomer, and accidental computer security sleuth. Meet Clifford Stoll, an inspiration to millions, a tech icon, and a hero of the digital revolution. Good science. When you're doing good science, you're not interested in, oh, wow, I'm going to make money from this. When you're doing good science, you're not saying, oh, I'm going to make something that'll solve these problems. No, that's engineering. Quality science, pure science, means having a question, not knowing the answer, and figuring out a reasonable answer. Good science, to me, is good entertainment. As soon as you say, oh, the reason why I'm going to learn the violin is to make a lot of money. You've lost sight of the real reason to play the violin. Same with science. As soon as you say, oh, I'm going to work on this because if I can understand how this crystal works, I can make a better whiz-bang, solid-state framus that will, dare I say, change our world around us. No, that's not science anymore. I rather look at science as a chance to more deeply understand our world around us. Science to me is a chance to explore and figure things out rather than rather than a a requirement that I do something that has this useful and perfect application. In that sense, there is a distance between science, which is oftentimes fooling around and trying to understand what what makes things tick. And engineering, which is to build a device which which in some way or another is useful and will perhaps generate something which which can be turned into, if not turned it into something that's financially useful or generates money, is at least cool enough that others will want, want to know about it. So, to me, I'm more interested in what is not just, oh, here's something that, oh, it's neat looking, but what about the sound of it? What, what, what makes this sound different? Why does it sound this way? What, what is it about echoes? What is it about what is it about spheres that that I can that I can move things around and how does the echoes inside of a sphere remind me of or have parallels with say electrons going around a nucleus in a hydrogen atom? Turns out that there's a surprising parallel between the two. But you hardly ever learn about it till you study quantum mechanics. No, I'm I'm interested in science less as a way of coming up with solutions to problems, and more of a way as of as a way of of well, satisfying curiosity. It's. It's not knowing the answer that's fun for me. Tell me the answer, yeah, I'll yawn. Give me a question, that's where it's at. After all, after all, the real hook, the thing that grabs me, is a question mark. Hooks are, you know, upside down question marks. They work great. And periods, you know, the end of a sentence, that little dot at the end of the sentence. You kind of shrug and you say, okay, so what? Go on to the next one. Inside of every cradle, 
at every birth. With every baby, there's a question mark, a mystery, a wonderment, a fascination. What's going to happen? Who will this child become? Every grave, every casket, has a period at the end of a story. Here's the story of this person's life. In the same sense, I'm interested in the question marks. I'm interested in seeing where the curiosity will lead to, not, oh, where have we been? <laughs>